Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jason Lucchese. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to our YouTube page. We're going to be going live here right now, and I've got my good friend and business partner, Mr. Jason Pallister, with us. How you doing, Jay? What's up? Everything's good here. Just uh, hanging out, trying to knock down some more deals in St. Louis. Nice, nice. Well, we recently, uh, you know, I uh, wanted Jay to come on so we could talk about a recent deal. You know, we do a lot of tax delinquent stuff in our uh, business and Jay had this deal come across. And like I was saying on some of the messaging, the marketing for this particular video, it didn't come through a normal channel like direct mail. So I, I wanted to talk to, to Jay, talk about this deal um, and the profit that came in from this deal and why we think the tax delinquent space is one of the most profitable lead sources, you know, known to mankind. Um, so Jay, why don't we hop in, talk about the deal here. It's in uh, St. Charles, Missouri. Yep. And uh, where, where, how did the lead come in? Okay. So this one was, um, this was a multi-pronged attack or whatever, but um, uh, I'll give you some of the details that had it, solidified that they they chose us right so uh it was a tax delinquent lead so we got the tax delinquent list and and we sent out our um our approach as you know our, our tax assistance letter where we build out a full-blown tax assistance program with approvals denials all that stuff and um versus let me put some cash in your pocket like everybody does right so it sparked their interest okay so then what happened was is that we sent that out to them and they told us on the phone too, they're like, hey, we had a hundred letters saying, let me put cash in your pocket. And we contacted you. So what they did was this, um, which proves the point, set your business up the right way. Okay, so they they had the uh, they had the letter, but then like most people in the 21st century wanna do, uh, we had everything built out so that it's consistent with our online presence. So we teach techniques on how to get on the first page of Google for free. Um, as you know, where people pay 10 to 15 grand a month for that, for people that say, I want to sell my home fast. So what happened was, is they got the marketing letter. They saved ours to, to eventually call on it. But what sparked them to call us faster was that they also went online and said, hey, I need to sell my house fast. Um, because the parents were, uh, uh, the parents were in a nursing home, uh, passed away and it's an inherited property now. And right. she didn't know what to do with it. It was behind on taxes and she knew she's going to lose it. But they went online to sell, typed in sell my house fast as well. And there we were yet again. So that was kind of a two pronged attack. We did, you know, we do those things on purpose so that uh, no matter where anybody in the in the marketplace goes, we grab those leads. But they said that they contacted us because everybody else was just like, hey, I'll, I'll pay cash for your house. And they were looking for real solutions. They had, uh, they had parents that were sick, nursing home, um, had passed away, stuff like that. And they needed real help. Right. And, you know, one of the big things I think a lot of people don't understand is typically with a tax delinquent property, we're looking at probably not just tax delinquent as the only, as you would say, wrinkle <laughs> in the deal. There's probably other things yeah. that are happening in order for these folks to uh, get behind on their taxes. Wouldn't you say, Jay? Uh, yeah, there's tons of stuff. So uh, the house needed 40 grand to work. So imagine a world and think about this. This is this is where you start to do things differently as an investor. OK, so imagine a world where you're trying to get you're trying to be a solution for people. Right. You want to feel good about running your investment business and be a solution for people. So you need to contact those people in the right way to get them to understand why you're going to be a solution for them. So what was needed was 40 grand in work. She inherited the property. She, she didn't she didn't wake up this calendar year going, you know what, this year, I think I'm going to go ahead and do 40 grand in property. 40 grand and work on a property, uh, one, that I don't have that money, but two, on a property I don't even know that I'm going to inherit, right? And um, so those are real problems that she had to solve, delinquent tax. So now all of a sudden, imagine where all the males coming to um, her because um, her parents aren't, uh, aren't around to address it, and she's seeing that it's behind on taxes, and she says, wow, I'm going to lose this house. Um, that was a part of my family's to a tax sale. So... Everyone in town just says the same old, stop throwing away your marketing money. It drives me insane. I just had a call today 
with one of the largest data providers in the United States. You know, people use PropStream, this and that. They all come from two central data sources, right? And, and this person actually um, grabs that data, but, but takes it to a different level. So a very high level conversation. And we spent half of our phone call, which was an hour, talking about how investors, um, because he's an investor as well, and he's a data provider, but how investors waste a ton of money on marketing because uh, Facebook gurus tell them to be consistent. It drives me freaking insane. There's a difference between being consistent and actually coming with an approach that just commands at a visceral level a response uh, because you're actually coming with a helping hand besides let me put cash in your pocket. It drives me freaking insane. I can do, well, let's say people have 5,000 leads. Give me 100 and let me do the attack the way that I know to do and I will produce more revenue than the people that are just being consistent marketing to 5,000. And, and so number one, I can do it with a lot less. And that's what I'm trying to teach you here. Just be better at this. Okay. And then secondly, uh, doing it with a lot less, but also not wasting a bunch of money. So that's how this lead came in the door. She had, she had, she wasn't fixing up the house. She wasn't going to keep the upkeep on the house. Now all of a sudden it's, she realizes tax delinquent and she gets our letter versus a hundred other people. It's fun. And they say, hey, uh, I've had 100 people hit me and, and we chose you and here's and here's why we chose you. Oh, and by the way, when we went online, there you were as well. Folks, none of those things are accidents. Um, right. Jason, you're not magical. I, I'm sorry to bur burst your bubble today, okay? I'm not magical. I know, I'm sorry, I hurt your feelings, right? You, neither of us are magical. We're just doing things based upon data. When I do this in 138 cities and thousands of homes acquired, and I get to collect all the data from all the teams that I've trained and put in place for the companies that hire me to do that, I simply pay attention to what works and what wins. And um, and I laugh. I laugh. And uh, we just finished a two-day blueprint um, this past weekend. We have 14 people. I have one guy who's like, yeah, I spent 200 grand on training, and I'm going to continue to spend more money. I personally spent 110 grand post-college getting good at things because I see the value in it, right? But but here was a consensus when we were done with our um, full weekend, two-day blueprint, training people 30 different ways. And we're talking today about my favorite of all time, which is approaching tax delinquent homeowners and being a solution for them the right way, right? Here was the consensus from, from several people that have spent a lot of money. They're like, man, if I could go back in time, they're like, I've, I've done this training, that training, and yes. And they we were in our circle of trust while we were training. And they're like, yeah, and I've spent money on this guru, that guru. Um you know, uh, Maximus Prime or whatever you call it. I don't, I don't even know what they're called out there in the marketplace. MaxiPad, these people do. Half of them don't even do deals. It drives me, it drives me crazy, right? But the consensus was they're like, dude, this, these, this system, and we showed them data. We're like, look, data doesn't lie. Data tells the truth. Data doesn't lie. Hey, we mailed out X amount of times. My competition mailed out 15 times. We, we tripled their production uh, off of two mailings. Right. So I always tell everybody thousands of homes acquired in 138 cities over 16 years. Uh, at this point, every move we make, it's on purpose. It's not an accident. Right. So what, no, exactly. And, you know, one of the things, Jay, why don't we hop in and talk about how, how did how did we arrive at the hundred sixteen thousand dollar purchase price? Like, why don't we talk about like the benefits that we were solving for this individual that just inherited the property and had one parent in the nursing home. Cause they, yeah, we, so, it looks like it was acquired for 116 and we'll talk about what, what it was sold for here in just a moment. So what we did is we just backed into that number at 116, they wanted higher and that's where the seller wall comes in that we teach. Um, uh, but they started out, um, they started out at 140 and we just logically went through them like, Hey, have you got a bid for this? Have you done this? Uh, we just need to know because that's what's going to happen here. And uh, and so we just walked her through that. And I'm like, hey, do you have somebody to help you um, uh, move out this stuff? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, um, have you hired a company in the past to do that? And they're like, yeah, well, we'll help you move all these things. And she's like, oh, yeah, I, had, I hired somebody for two grand. So I go, well, there's two grand lower right there, right? So there's another two grand off that, that we can help you with. So we literally just walked her step by step through all the solutions. I'm like, hey, our first order of business here is to help you cut the grass. So if you guys are taking something away from this video here, I'll always offer to help them cut the grass because the grass was tall. I'm like, you're going to 
And she goes, yeah, I already got a letter from the city. So we solved that. We said, hey, we'll cut your grass whether we buy your house or not. So instantly that, that made us more valuable than anybody that they would ever talk to. Right? Because everybody says, I'll put cash in your pocket. So we were going above and beyond solving the outside of the house, solving the stuff on the inside. She clearly said, she goes, I, I don't have the money to fix this. And I go, you're going to put it on the market and uh, talk, talk to a realtor and, and then six months down the road because you understand that we're going to buy this as is cash and we're taking all the risk and all the responsibility uh, once you sell to us. So in the course of conversation, like, hey, you know, where we could probably be is 110 and it marched up to 116. We sold it, I think, for roughly 134, made 20 grand. She was happy, walked away. It, it, was, it was a win-win. No, exactly. And so the house needed a ton. And when you inherit a property, the last thing you want to do is put X amount in, into the property. This property was sold for $135,000. And let's talk about this. The end buyer uh, wanted to knock down a wall and turn a two bedroom into a three bedroom. Do you roughly know, like, because it, it, when we typically do that, when we add bedrooms, Rooms, it, it typically adds like another fifty to sixty thousand dollars to the house, depending on the area. So obviously, the yeah. investor felt like that was going to pay off from a return on investment standpoint. Yeah, and um, so so we so we got it under contract. We 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 told her that um, we're going to have a few of our contractors walk through, right? Our contractors walk through, and we we had our people that we work with um, that may buy it from us walk through the property. Uh, three or four of them, but we also infuse that into their brains. Most of them are savvy enough that they know that, um, but to look at the house just differently than the way it sits. But we also infuse that into the brain when they walk through, which is which is a good move on your part. You, you folks that are that are trying to get this um, and take this to another level and and make this a predictable spinning wheel, you always look for a way to add a bedroom. So, so we infuse that in, into everybody that walks through the house's brain because you can remove a wall and do that. And now all of a sudden the value of this property goes up by another 30 or 40,000. So that's, that's quite frankly, um, because we were approaching it that, that way, we just went from, and that's, and that's where expertise comes in because we approached it way, that way. It took it from a, probably a four or $5,000 assignment fee wholesale to roughly 20 grand, $90,000. Cause you have the vision, you have the vision, to show somebody what it could be, right? And um, and so that just takes you as an investor, uh, being a pro, being trained, looking at it that way, having certain th having certain protocols in place on the front end marketing side to stand out from everybody else, and then on the back end negotiate and, and lock up deals better than everybody in your marketplace while providing value. Uh, the only reason we got this deal is because our approach is so so far different and and well beyond what any regular old investor that listens to. Um, YouTube University from gurus and uh, be consistent. Let's get high equity lists and let's get vacants and water disconnects and be consistent. And, and <laughs> we call that training. It like, you already know I'm about to like come through this computer right now. And if I have to slap somebody in, in into shape, I will. <laughs> nice. So dude, Jay, we, we made a cash buyer video not too long ago for the channel to kind of explain some things. How hard was it for you guys to, to dump this property off to this individual? Once you explain the potential return, uh, did you guys already have a cash buyer lined up, uh, for this deal? Uh, yeah. So we, uh, we teach nine different ways that we get cash buyers in every zip code. Quite frankly, some of the techniques are unfair. So almost every address, and again, that's what being a responsible business owner is about. Do this the right way. If you have nine ways to do it, and now imagine a world where you wake up, where every lead in your area that you get, you already know who, who potentially wants it. So yeah, we already had a pretty good idea of who was going to grab the deal. Yeah, no, well, that and that's what having a good cash buyer list does. You you before you even lock up deals, you already know. Hey, uh, I think this guy, this guy, this girl. Uh, these, these five will probably, you know, start a bid war on this property. And, that, and that's what happens when you have a good cash buyers list. Correct. And here's a little tip for everybody on top of just looking for cash buyers. Those are just phrases. Let's, let's turn this into something real. Look for cash buyers that, that fix and flip. So stop saying, just look for cash buyers, right? So look for cash buyers that fix and flip. Look for, for, uh, landlords. Okay. Yeah. That, that want property from you. And then my favorite of all time. 
which you can just go into your Facebook groups. Here's a monster tip for you. Do this better than everybody else. Go into your Facebook groups, your local real estate investment Facebook groups and say, hey, um, who are my Airbnb? Who does Airbnbs in town? Find out who does the Airbnbs because Airbnbs, I love Airbnbs, okay? Um, Airbnbs, you can get two to three to four times the rent, which means that house is more valuable to an Air, Airbnb buyer on your cash buyers list than any other buyer that will ever be on your list. So why are you not spending effort on a weekly basis to find out who all the Airbnb buyers are in town? Because uh, I'll give an example. One of our buyers uh, in an area of South St. Louis, one of my favorite places to hunt for properties, one of my favorite of all time. Uh, I already know that every time we get an opportunity, we're going to send it out to our cash buyers list for South St. Louis, of course. But I already know that that particular individual, and there's a few Airbnb buyers, but one in general, and uh, and they're good at it. They're good at the Airbnb. Uh, they will always pay. And I mean always. They will always pay an extra 10 to 25 grand per property we get. So imagine a world where not only we, we show you how to win on the front end for your efforts, but on the back end, because we're teaching you um, you know, and that's just a little tip from us to you. We teach you nine ways to do this. I'm just speaking off the cuff, right? Find out who your Airbnb buyers are. That's going to make all your deals more profitable because yeah. they can always pay more. If they're not getting a thousand uh, as a regular rental in the area, but they're an Airbnb investor and they can produce on that same property, 2,500 a month, they can pay more money. Right? Yep, exactly. And if you exactly. want to take the time to and if, and if you guys at home don't want to take the time to find out, just let me know. Hit us up. Let me know what city you're in. I'll find them and I'll split it with you. <laughs> no, absolutely, man. And this was this was great. I'm glad we were able to to have you hop on here. We were able to talk about this deal and uh, show folks, you know, what could be done when you're in the tax delinquent space. If you guys want to find out more information, or if you just need some guidance, some help with your business. Uh, feel free to uh, schedule a call with us. There's no obligation. We could talk about you and your business. Uh, see if we could add some value uh, to your business. See if there's something that we can help you with. Uh, go to myblueprintcall.com. Uh, it's right in front of you on the screen. And once you go over there, it'll, it'll just see what selections are available from a time for you to book and schedule a time with us. And we'll uh, talk with you for about you know 30 minutes or so and see what, what type of value we could add uh, to your business. We know things are are crazy right now in, in the marketplace. So if we could just help you out and add some value uh, for you and your business, that'd be great. So myblueprintcall.com. Jay, any final words before we go ahead and end the broadcast? Yeah, a um, couple of things. Uh, we show how to suffocate your city 30 different ways. I've been doing that for hedge funds for almost 16 years, or actually 16 and a half years roughly. And um, this isn't a fair fight. So imagine dropping a blanket over your city 30 levels deep. It, so schedule a call. And if it's okay, you tell me, Jason, you, you know my style. Um, can I name drop from the people that we trained this last weekend that scheduled a call just like the people listening right now so yeah. that they can hunt them down online and ask them and ask them the bricks that were tied to our fist when we delivered? So sure. a David Johnson and a uh, uh, Richard Long, he goes by Rick. I'm sure you can find him in some of our, our Facebook groups that we're in if you guys know myself and Jason well. Uh, look up those guys and ask them. Uh, ask them what we delivered to them uh, when we just did our training this last weekend, and they will tell you. Uh, they will tell you the best phone call they ever scheduled. We're here yep. to help you run this business like a pro and win the game. We're not. I'm not playing games here. Uh, there's no reason that anybody that watches this video shouldn't be able to do what their competitors do for one tenth, one tenth of the list because we show you how to pare it down and be super specific, and then for one tenth of the budget, um, outpace them by by two or threefold. On productions and closing them back in. Everyone that schedules a call, um, there's no reason we can't show you how to do five to 10 closings a month. This isn't hard. It just has to be done on purpose. Oh, and yeah. uh, so stop doing the same old, uh, I'll, I'll just simply be consistent because a guru told me that. And then uh, just postcard and letter, a voicemail I'll drop and I'm sophisticated. I'm tired of that crap. Schedule, yeah. Schedule a call. Uh, schedule a call. Like we're, we'll show you how to do this stuff. Drives me crazy. <laughs> Oh man, that is hilarious. Uh, oh, here. Uh, yeah, Matt, get the call scheduled. Oh, love, it. love it. Thanks. So here, Matt, I forgot. I forgot to drop, drop Matt in there. So Matt was on last, uh, last weekend's training. And again, so people who see this in the future, you're going to have to try and figure out what date. It doesn't matter. So he was on last weekend's training and, um, he's an East coast investor. 
And we went through the entire weekend and, you know, he texts me after the training was over and he's like, okay, dude, that was, um, that was by far the best training I had. Hey, and Matt, if I'm putting words in your mouth, you correct me. And, uh, but, uh, uh, we blew him away. And as he knows, and when you schedule a call, once you're on our team, Jason, as you know, once you're on our team, you're on our team. Um, no coming back and like, hey, let me charge you some mentorship fees and all that. Let us just show you how this is done with, with thousands of properties under our belt. And, uh, and then just add you to our team permanently. Uh, yeah. So the people we trained last weekend are in our private Facebook group already asking questions this week. And we're executing tons of them uh, from last weekend already have uh, 10 times the leads that they had before we got our hands on them and walkthroughs and appointments set. And they're going to be closing contracts. So there's no reason we can't do the same for you. And I always tell everybody, if you're being a responsible business owner, um, why would you not schedule a, a free call with Monster so we could show you? We already name dropped the people that you could talk to um, so that you could talk to them independent of us, right? So why yeah. would you not, as a, as a responsible business owner, schedule a call? It costs you nothing. Let's talk about your marketplace. Let's talk about the marketing budget you have or don't have or what you're spending or, or what niche because uh, we might just be able to make a suggestion um, that moves a needle for you, right? Yep. We're here to help. Absolutely. Awesome. Hey, everybody that's on with us right now, or if you're watching this as a recording, make sure you give us a thumbs up for the video. Make sure you become a subscriber. If there's anything that you need help with, make sure you drop a comment below and we'll be more than happy uh, to help you out with that. If you want to schedule a call, make sure you go to myblueprintcall.com, schedule a call with us. We'll have a conversation about you and your business and see what we could do uh, to help. Jay, thanks for being on, brother. I appreciate you. And we will talk to you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye now. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>